In this video, we're going to have a look at the association between numerical values. We're going to have a look at three things, linearity, strength, and direction. But let's start with linearity. Now, when we discuss linearity, there are two different sorts of associations that we can have. We can either have a linear association or a non-linear association. Now, to work out what the difference is, we have to know what the word linear means. And linear means a straight line relationship. Now, in terms of the graph, what that will mean is between our explanatory variable and our response variable, the data points will tend to follow a straight line and would describe the association between our explanatory and response variables as a linear relationship. Now this is different to when it's not linear. An example of this might look like something like this. Now as you can see, this doesn't really follow that straight line anymore. There's sort of a curve in the arc. Any time that doesn't seem to follow a straight line trend, we will say that the correlation between our explanatory and response variables is not a linear relationship. Now, for the purpose of the other two, we're going to assume that we've got linear relationships that we're having a look at. So, let's have a look at what direction is. Now the direction refers to the change of the response variable in response to the explanatory variable. And there's three general directions that exist. The first direction looks a little bit like this, where as the explanatory variable increases, the response variable also increases. And you'll find as we go from left to right, it seems to be going up. We call this direction a positive direction. The second direction looks like this, where as the explanatory variable increases, the response variable decreases, or as it moves from left to right, it seems to go downhill. And we call this a negative relationship. And the third situation would look like This, where there isn't really any sort of direction going up or down to the points, and they can seem rather scattered. If we've got something like this, we say that there is no direction or no correlation between them. Now, assuming that we do have a direction, either a positive direction or a negative direction, there's also a strength to the correlation between our response and explanatory variables, which let's take a look at. Now, when we talk about just looking at the strength of the correlation by eye or judging it by sight, there are three sort of levels that we talk about. The first one, is a strong positive or a strong negative strength. Where when we look at it by eye, those little dots on our scatter plot pretty much fit perfectly on a straight line. The next one is what we call a moderate strength. where we've got a moderate positive example and a moderate negative example. Now you can still definitely see that this has got a general trend either up or down, so positively or negatively, but those points are scattered a little bit more. The third level looks like this. where the points are even more scattered and you're getting closer and closer to no correlation. Now we call this a weak positive correlation or a weak negative correlation. Now with all these examples, you should be able to notice a definite trend. If you can't notice a definite trend, then there's no correlation.
But you can see here that the closer the dots are to that sort of trend line, the stronger the correlation is, whether it's a positive correlation or a negative correlation.